Look at the colors. Zoom in on the puddle that we're sitting in. Welcome to Ireland. Strawberry Island. Today's a little bit of an L. It's super gray, cloudy, rainy. Good morning. Happy, I don't know what day it is today. It's just another day. Just another day in lockdown. Sierra bought me those flowers. Thank you, they made me so happy. But my other ones are kind of dying now, so. Big mood, big mood for a week through January. Look how freaking cute this little mug is. Cassia got it for me for Christmas. I've talked about this book before, Journey to the Heart by Melody Beattie. It has like daily meditations and stuff, so I like to read it every morning. It's super short and it just gives you something to think about. And sometimes if I want to do like a more structured journaling session, then it'll give me good like starting points. Most of the time I just kind of like write down whatever I've been feeling super burnt out recently. And I know it's only the third week of January, but I, it's just been super gray and rainy in Ireland and it feels like nothing's going anywhere anymore and last week was such positive vibes this week isn't i don't know we fluctuate a lot here i did make a stellar cup of coffee though so the past weekend i felt so off i think it was friday or saturday i was just so sad and I was getting a lot of things done, like I had a lot of editing to do and I was taking things off my to-do list but I just felt like there was this like overwhelming weight pushing on me to be sad and I just like was trying to fight it so hard and then the next day I woke up and I had my period and it just like it made so much sense because it was just like hormonal sadness but Sometimes it's nice whenever you realize that there's like actually a logical reason for your emotions. Most of the time it's pretty illogical. And on Sunday I just had the worst period cramps. Like I don't normally get cramps but I was in so much pain and I just spent the whole day on the sofa watching um, Secretary Kim and it was great. But now I feel like I have to have that like Sunday reset that I was meant to have yesterday but now it's monday um so today we're gonna try and get things done but still be like a bit easy on ourselves because this morning i have a call and then i'll probably just make myself some nice food chill out a bit and i'm going to go to the library with meg who i'm so excited to see she was obviously back home for christmas and she came back to dublin and was like quarantining and stuff so now i can finally see her we're gonna get coffee and then study together because that's what you do in fourth year. That is the peak excitement. I love putting on a good playlist for whenever I'm journaling. This one's one of my faves by Itomi. People are energy, thoughts are energy. When someone tries to control that energy limits, love comes in.
Oh, I hate all the packaging, but veggies, fruit, and bread. Bread's vegan, right, isn't it? Um, but I used the slicing machine thing for the first time. Really scary. A nice man helped me with it. I thought it'd be fun to film, but then I got overwhelmed. We're just gonna do some mushrooms and spinach on toast for brunch today. I wanted to make like a chickpea salad, but there are no chickpeas and no hummus in Little at the moment. And I don't know if it's because of Brexit, but if I don't get my 89 cents reduced fat Little hummus, I'm gonna be really sad, so please fix that. This arrived whenever I was out. I think it's a book that I need for my dissertation, which I ordered from Germany. I'm going to about opening things. Yay! So I'm doing my dissertation on this new impressionist, Henri Edmund Cross, but there's not a lot of scholarship on him or like exhibition focus. So this is like the most recent exhibition that they had and it was in this like small museum in Potsdam. Um, this is so fun. I've never like bought an art book before. It was also so expensive. It was like 40 pounds, um, 50 euros including shipping from Germany. Look at the colors. <gasps> Whoa. I love this one. Private collection, someday. One of you guys suggested that I should put this on my toast. So, I'm gonna do that. Mm. Water, laptop, books, and then mask. You look cute. Coconut matcha latte. What's yours? I have a oat milk latte, of course. Safe mm -hmm. environment. Zoom in on the puddle that we're sitting in. Welcome to Ireland. Mmm. The ugly architecture. I know. The screaming bird. We'll be in there soon. Can't wait. Studying hard. Welcome back to Dada. It's Blue Monday guys. Today is the third Monday in January, which is officially meant to be the most depressing day. I actually, I have an issue to raise with Lidl. There has been no hummus or chickpeas for the past two weeks. And I think that's contributing to my burnout because where, where, where are my snacks? I don't know where the day has gone. It's like eight o'clock now already but i got some tofu and i have a lot of like pak choy and stuff which needs eaten so i might just do a stir fry i think i have some rice 
leftover rice so i'll do some stir fried rice and i got some ginger i'm just gonna make it really gingery i've been really enjoying having you guys in the kitchen with me i think i got into such a bad habit last term as well um of eating out and ordering food just because i felt like i was too busy to cook or whenever i'd come home from college all i'd want to do would eat and I just like didn't have anything like ready and stuff so I think I'm gonna try to be more mindful about like preparing food and having stuff in the fridge which I can quickly make like a stir fry because I just feel so much better and yeah I want to be healthier this year so that's an easy way to do it All I can say is thank God for vegan Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I thought I would show you my everyday kind of evening skincare routine. Not that anyone really asked for it, but we're kind of doing like a chill, comfy night, so I thought I'd just share it anyway if you guys are looking to try out some products. First up for cleanser, I'm using the Old Clean Balm, which is like a oil-based balm. I bought this back in summertime. I showed you guys whenever I got it and I've been using it ever since. It is so good. It just melts away makeup and if you're wearing sunscreen and everything, it just does such a good job. Next up, since we're on that double cleanse buzz, I am still just using this Colourlay Foaming Cleanser. It's just super simple and makes my face clean and very sensitive. It's also puffy. I just find doing my skincare such like a nice calming part of my day. And even if I've been like super busy or in college all day, it's just like nice to give yourself five or 10 minutes, make yourself feel good. Now that we're all clean, we can get into the fun stuff. The toner which I've been using for the past while is this Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening one. And I usually use this in the morning as well. It says it's okay to use in the AM and PM. I don't normally use a cotton pad with it because cotton pads just soak up all the product and if you're not using reusable ones, it's not good for the environment. But I just put a little bit on my pan and pat it in. I'm not a skincare expert at all, this is just what I do and I know that I'm also very lucky to have naturally good skin, like I don't really have to do too much to it. The serum which I've been using also has niacinamide in it, it is this dark spot correcting glow serum by Axis Y. I like that it's um, gel like, I don't know, I feel like it sits really nice on the face. I think the one thing that like I care about in my skin is moisture and brightening so that's why a lot of the products I use has niacinamide in it. I'm sure someone's going to comment that maybe I shouldn't be using so much niacinamide but is what it is. And my final step is somewhat new, I've been trying out this brightening eye cream by Ren. You guys know how much I love Ren, their products are just so good, they're clean for the earth and for you. And yeah, I've never used an eye cream before but I've noticed just how much more moisturized my under eyes and like face generally is after using this. I just warm it between two fingers, pat it under my eyes and it just feels really fun to do. And that is basically it. I don't really use a face moisturizer. I just don't really have one that is like specifically for nighttime. If my face is feeling a bit dry, I'll use the Ren Evercam Global Protection Day Cream. Maybe I will put a little bit of this on. Why not? My back. So I was leaning down that whole time. Okay. I don't know if I've told you guys about the lights, but I got them a few days ago. Oh my gosh, I filmed myself putting them in, so maybe I'll include a little montage. 
but they have been such a game changer they're so fun you can change the color to like whatever you want and the color wheel has like moods on them so i don't know if you want to do a little bit grief oh disappointment blue vibes feeling anxious i do love the red anger vibes Yeah. 